This is the Lamson Force SL2, and it's Lamson's most expensive freshwater reel. And today, I'm here to review it. That's right, at almost $600 for a five weight size, this is the most expensive Lamson available today. And you're probably thinking, that's crazy money for a five weight reel. And by and large, you're probably right. But if you're sitting there wondering, is it worth it? There are some things to consider. This reel has an insanely large arbor, and as you'd expect, insanely fast line pickup, and it does it with this fantastically minimal industrial design, which results in insanely lightweight. In fact, this five weight that picks up line faster than some eight weight reels comes in at only three ounces, which is really, really light. But before we get to the conclusion, let's start where we always do with the drag. And I can tell you, there's not much. In fact, if I have one complaint with this Force SL2 is that in the five weight size, specifically, there's almost no drag. In fact, I've probably seen click Paul reels that have more drag than this reel does. If you tighten it all the way down, you're getting at most a pound of drag. It's enough so that you're not gonna free spool. And again, probably just a tear more than your average clicker, but definitely not enough to stop anything. This five weight size is for freshwater use only. Luckily in the bigger size, they have upped that a little bit, but it's still not gonna be a ton of drag. Like all Lamson reels though, it does have the sealed conical drag. And while it's not the most sealed reel out there, it does a pretty good job as we've seen in some of our testing. And in terms of turns of the drag knob, this one's got about two full turns before you hit the hard stop on the top end. And of course it does have a hard stop on the bottom end as well. But actually let's talk about the frame. Check this out. This is a really cool frame. It's about the most minimal frame that exists anywhere. Reminds me a little bit of maybe the Nautilus X series, but taken to the max. And now moving on to the spool, we've got a 3.5 inch max diameter. And on this reel, because of the design, you'll actually notice that the max diameter is only measurable from the inside, which is pretty unique for fly reels. We've got a nice narrow one inch width and a 2.5 inch arbor. And that all is gonna yield roughly 8.3 inches per turn of line pickup, which is really, really good. It's insane for a reel that's this light. And likewise, you're gonna be able to fit almost 200 yards of backing with your five weight line. Again, those are really, really awesome numbers for a reel that weighs three ounces. And of course, I've been harping on the weight of this reel for a while now, but it is extremely light at again, three ounces. So let's move on to the sound, which is honestly pretty good, like most lamps and reels. Let's take a listen. Of course, Lamson has that differentiated incoming and outgoing, which I appreciate. And last but not least is gonna be the ergonomics. While the handle I think is really good, in fact, up there with some of the better handles for a five weight reel, the drag knob is fine. Because of the way this bar is designed, you're actually pretty much limited to about a half a turn every time you wanna use that drag knob. There's just mechanical limits on how you can reasonably turn it without doing something crazy, like getting your fingers in there. Not my favorite drag knob by any stretch. But of course, as we said, there's not really that much drag there, so you're probably not gonna be using it much anyway. And that brings us to the price. And of course, as we already said, it is a very expensive $5.99 for this five weight. And well, tell us what you think by leaving us a comment in the box below. Would you buy this reel? Is it too expensive? If you have questions about this force or any reel in the Lamson lineup, Give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got lots of great reel reviews coming right up. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching.